Eastern Time Saturday for the following marine location. Coastal waters from Provincetown, Massachusetts to Chatham, Massachusetts to Nantucket, Massachusetts, out 20 nautical miles. A gale watch has been issued from 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Friday until 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Saturday for the following marine location. Coastal waters from Montauk, New York to Martha's Vineyard extending out to 20 nautical miles south of Block Island. A gale watch has been issued from 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Friday until 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Saturday for the following marine locations, Vineyard Sound and Buzzards Bay. A storm watch has been issued from 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Friday until 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Saturday for the following marine locations, Cape Cod Bay and Nantucket Sound. A storm watch has been issued from 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Friday until 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Saturday for the following marine location, coastal waters extending out to 25 nautical miles south of Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket. A storm watch has been issued from 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Friday until 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Saturday for the following marine locations, coastal waters east of Ipswich Bay and the Stelligan Bank National Marine Sanctuary, and Massachusetts Bay and Ipswich Bay. A small craft advisory remains in effect until 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following marine location, coastal waters from Provincetown, Massachusetts to Chatham, Massachusetts to Nantucket, Massachusetts, out 20 nautical miles. Coastal flood watch remains in effect from late Thursday night through Friday afternoon. One to two feet of inundation above ground level possible in low-lying areas near shorelines and tidal waterways 4.3 to 13.5 feet mean lower low water. Areas affected include portions of eastern, northeastern, and southeastern Massachusetts and Rhode Island. I'm sorry, did that thing you said when, 13 from late feet. Thursday night through Friday afternoon. Impacts include widespread minor coastal flooding is expected along portions of both the east and south coast during the Friday morning high tide cycle with pockets of moderate coastal flooding possible. The greatest concern for pockets of moderate coastal flooding will be across North Shore given their exposure to an east-southeast winds. Typically vulnerable shoreline roads may become flooded and impassable within a few hours of high tide. In addition, there may be significant beach erosion on the south coast, including ocean-exposed beaches of Rhode Island and Westport. Significant beach erosion may also occur on the south side of Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket. We also will have to watch the potential for additional coastal flooding near the south coast with the Friday evening high tide. This remains more uncertain and would become more problematic if the storm system would flow down a few hours. High wind watch in effect from Friday morning through Saturday morning. South winds 25 to 35 miles per hour with gusts up to 65 miles per hour possible. Oh, great! Areas affected include portions of eastern, northeastern, and southeastern Massachusetts. When, from Friday morning through Saturday morning. Impacts include damaging winds could blow down trees and power lines. Widespread power outages are possible. Travel could be difficult, especially for high-profile vehicles. Well. Here are the 6 a.m. observations for the Cape Cod region. In Hyannis, it was partly cloudy. The temperature was 29 degrees, the dew point 